Welcome to Omega Open Course. In this video, we will be discussing about the charge flowing in induced current. We know that whenever magnetic flux changes in a conducting loop, some EMF is induced in the loop. Because of that induced EMF, some current will flow through the loop. That current is called induced current. In some questions, we are required to find the total charge flowing through the loop during the induction. We know that as per Faraday's law, induced EMF is given by minus d phi by dt. If we divide this induced EMF by the resistance of the loop, we get the current flowing through it. Therefore, the induced current in the circuit is minus 1 by r into d phi by dt. Now, the charge is given by integration of i dt, that is integration of EMF by r into dt or integration of minus 1 by r into d phi by dt into dt that is integration of minus 1 by r into d phi. The integration of d phi is change in flux that is final flux minus initial flux. But since we are integrating negative of d phi, the integration is initial flux minus final flux. So the charge flowing through the loop is initial flux minus final flux divided by r. Usually we are concerned only with the magnitude of the charge for which we only need the magnitude of the change in flux. So we can say that the total charge flowing during the induction is delta phi divided by r. Following examples will help you understand how to apply this concept in questions. Suppose a conducting ring of radius A and resistance r is kept on a table where there is uniform magnetic field B in vertically downward direction. If the magnetic field is switched off, how much charge will flow through the ring? Since the magnetic field is perpendicular to the ring, the flux through the ring is given by area into magnetic field, that is pi a square into b. When the magnetic field is switched off, the flux decreases, EMF is induced and charge flows in the ring. Finally, there is no magnetic field, so the final flux is zero. Hence, the total change in flux is pi a square b. Now, total charge flowing through the ring is equal to change in flux by r, that is pi a square by r. This is our answer. Suppose a conducting ring of radius A and resistance R is kept in a uniform magnetic field with magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of the ring. If the ring is rotated about its diameter by 180 degree, how much charge will flow through the ring? Suppose that the magnetic field is directed in vertically downward direction. Also, let us assume that the direction of normal of the ring is downward. So the initial flux through the ring is pi A square B. Now when the ring is rotated by 180 degrees, its normal 2 turns by 180 degrees and becomes opposite to the direction of the magnetic field. Hence, the final flux is minus pi a square b. So the total change in flux is 2 pi a square b and therefore the charge flowing through the ring in this case is 2 pi a square b divided by r. This is our answer. Shown on the screen are some of the questions where this concept has been used. Watch these questions for better understanding of the concept. Like and share the video to help other students find us. Subscribe the channel for further updates. Thank you for watching.